Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So about five months ago I made a video um, on how I transformed my countertops using the Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy and I wanted to give you guys a five month update on how that is holding up. So if you have not caught that first video yet, I will link that in the description box below. As always, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay tuned for all of our updates and new videos that we come out with. And with that, let's jump right in on this update. So this is the current state of our bathroom and very quickly, just a little side note, I have not cleaned this bathroom yet today before filming in it. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you how I clean the countertops and how I clean the sink and all of that good stuff. So first off, I am going to be starting with sharing how the countertops have held up and those have held up very nicely. I'm not disappointed at all. I did leave my curling iron on this spot a little too long one day and I think that's pretty typical for this type of countertop. And seeing how often we use this bathroom, this is our main bathroom, our front bathroom. I use this bathroom, my husband, and my kids. Um, and in the middle of a pandemic, this bathroom has seen some serious hand washing, so it gets a lot of use and it's holding up really well. So it has now been about five months, going on six months since we redid these countertops and the sink. And I specifically remember um, the reason why we did these little projects was because we were gonna be hosting for Christmas. So it was that last weekend in November, very early December that um, I did all of these projects and I wanted something fresh for our guests and something a little bit newer um, since we really hadn't touched the bathroom since we bought the home. So um, yeah, it's almost been about six months now, it's crazy. So I am going to show you guys the sink and these little, probably like dime size, um, little peelings that have come off in the sink, which the sink sees a lot and a lot of use, so I'm not surprised at all. And this countertop and sink is, like I said, probably close to about 30 years old. So this um, appliance epoxy trick was never meant to, you know, be like a 30 year fix or anything. This was probably a year or two to get us by until we are ready to completely replace the whole bathroom. But with that said, I am still very happy with how it looks and how it's holding up. In my opinion, it has held up really great and I would do it all over again. And now I'm going to take you guys along and share with you how I clean these countertops. There is really nothing special to it at all. I use um, just a normal Lysol cleaner. This is in the citrus scent. I take an old towel and just spray it on, wipe everything. And for the sink is pretty much the same method. I spray the cleaner on and wipe it all down. And for these little spots, I'm actually going to be prepping a little bit for um, patching these little spots up. I like to add a little bit of water in the sink, so I'll spray the sink basin down and let it sit just for a few seconds and then I will take the water and um, just kind of wipe it all down together. So while I am cleaning, I am also prepping because I'm gonna be patching up these little spots right here in the sink. So these are the spots that I am going to be prepping and I have um, washed the sink and dried everything pretty well. And so I'm just going to take this sanding block and this is about an 80 grit sanding block that you can get from any hardware store and all of these little pieces or patches that are peeling or anything that I want to fix I'm just gonna kind of scuff it up a little bit so this is a really important step and one that you don't want to skip just because once you rough the surface up of something 
and then you go over it with your epoxy spray. Um, that epoxy spray is gonna have something to adhere to. And sometimes when sanding, you'll see a little piece fly off here. Um, it does get worse before it gets better, so just keep that in mind. I just wanna make sure that this surface is really level and as flush as I can get it so that you don't have like any lines um, in your newer epoxy. And now I am just going over all of that sanding uh, with a damp cloth and picking up any dust particles or anything that I see. And then I'm going to let that dry. And once that is dry, um, this is kind of a little hack that I like to use um, when I don't have plastic on hand. I will use a trash bag um, just to tape off anything that I don't want, uh, you know, oversprayed or anything like that. So I'm just placing some of my frog tape on the end of the plastic bag and placing the other side on the mirror. This is just a super quick patch job, guys, so I am barely taping off anything. I am going to tape off this little drain spout here just because we haven't got around to replacing the faucet or the, the drain yet. So I'm going to wipe that down and make sure that is very dry before masking that off. And once everything is prepped and ready, I can just do a quick little spray on these little patches. And I did this in three phases. So I did one very light spray and then let it dry for about 30 minutes or so. I went back in, did another coat, and then let it dry for another 30 minutes or so. And then I went in and did a third coat for about 30 minutes dry time in between each one. And just for the heck of it, I did right around that little drain spout again, just to uh, clear up some of those little cracks that were down there. And this is what it looked like after the patch job. So from a certain light, you can see a little bit of a line there, but I'm not worried about it. You really have to look pretty hard to uh, find the line. And um, this probably took total less than maybe 30 minutes to do, um, not including drying time. Once again, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today and watching. I hope this update helped you in any way. And if you have not subscribed, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the little bell notification if you'd like to be notified when we release new videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.